and welcome back to Sadie Spincraft. Today or this evening I am flicking locks to make them all pretty and then we're going to put them through the drum carder and I've changed it to the 90 TPI which is for a finer fleece. So I'm just going to tip you down so that you get a better view of what I'm doing. And the reason why I'm doing this is I know it sounds self-explanatory, flicking locks, but when I first did it, I didn't hold them properly and I kind of made a mess. So I thought, well, why not show everyone? So here we go. So you've got your lock and you've got your base and your tip. I always start at the base so that I know when I've finished the tip I can put them in my box all facing the same way. Although I don't know why I'm making them all face the same way is because I'm putting them on the drum card so it doesn't really matter. But do not do it straight like this as as you're flicking you'll pull all the fibres out here, there and everywhere. What I like to do is twist it two or three times and get a nice grip at the top of the twist and at the base of the twist. And then you get the lock and you flick one side and then come from underneath because you've still got that good grip. And then all you're doing is taking the ever so slightly felted bits and flicking out and it's coming like that. As you can see, these are not moving anywhere and that's what you're getting rid of. So then we turn it round, get hold of the base, make sure you've got a good hold on that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then twist as many times as you want. Get a hold so it's a nice grip. Can you see that? It actually looks like yarn in your hand. And give them a good flick. Get those knots out, the muck, bits of vegetable matter in there. And then once you open it, look at that. It's nice fibre that's all flicked open and looking beautiful. So I'll show you once again and then I'll move you to the drum carder. So I'll do two of these this time. So, if you look, you can see the bits of vegetable matter in there. Come on, ca camera focus. Well, yeah. You can see the bits of vegetable matter in there and the, the mucky little bits of the tips. I haven't quite cleaned, so this is my way of getting all that out. So, line them up nicely. Give them a good twist. Good grip and then because you'll always find when you're washing your locks that the base of the lock where it's been sheared, the butt of the lock, whatever you want to call it, will slightly felt. And you find when you put them through the drum card, if you don't do this. That is where your nips come from. So well, there's your... And that's caught in the twist ever so slightly. So I'll take that out. And then we come to the other side. And whatever I can't pick out or flick out, it will come out as I start to card it on the drum carder. So I'm going to twist it again. And give the tips a nice flick. The tips usually aren't as hard to do as the base because that's not the bit that felt. So that's what we've got, which is waste. Let me just put those lovely flicked locks into my box. So that is the waste 
which you get whether you're combing or carding or flicking, whichever you're doing. Go on, I'll do one more. Might as well do these. I know I've got a lot of locks to flick, but I might as well just show you. And then we'll come back and do the carving. So I know it looks like I'm being rough, but well, I suppose I am in a way, but I'm not in another. <coughs> and then once again, switch sides. Technically, this should take, mean that I don't need to put the fibre through the drum carder more than once. And that's what I'm looking for, really, because with the 90 TPI and this, because it's, I have washed it, but some of it's just slightly sticky because it's been stored for quite a while. And... If I remember correctly, some of it I didn't actually wash properly. So when I've stored it all together, it's got slightly sticky. And that's my own fault, not the fleece. It's because I left the fleece to go cold in the hot water when I don't usually. I usually take it out before the lanolin has chance to cling back to the fibre and to be fair Polworth is because it's a cross between Merino and Lincoln sheep um, so that it grew well in Australia and New Zealand it's very very full of lanolin so I struggled to get it out. I won't lie, I did struggle because I've not used, I've not washed anything with that much lanolin in before. So yeah, let's move on to the drum carder. So this, you'll notice the TPI is a lot closer together, which means 90 times per inch, whereas my other drum is a 72 TPI which is 72 times per inch and the times are the teeth so I'm gonna start with these and all I'm gonna do because these are quite long staple length a little bit of a trick of mine I'm gonna put them in sideways so that way so that it can grab it and pull it on and I am gonna Spread it out quite far. And like I say, it's still slightly sticky. So when I come to wash it, I will rewash the yarn before I dye it. And I am making sure that I grab different parts so it is moving. So I'm spreading it so that we can see the drum underneath. Not the drum, the board. And I do go slightly slower with the 90 time. 90 TPI just because I don't want no neps and noils in this because it is such a fine fleece.
didn't like how that bit went on, I'm afraid. <laughs> so I'm going to pull that bit off and put it back through. Because I am a fussy sausage at times. There we go, that's better. I'm going to bring you a little closer so you can see what's happening down between this bit. So, just give me a sec. All right. So, so no, I'm going to bash you there. So, let me just move my leg. I'll bring you in a bit closer. There we go. Can you see how it's pulling it up? all slowly that bit should be on there so this does take a bit more time because of the way I do it. So let's just. I mean, you may find if you do it, if you ever do it yourself, that you can do it quicker or you prefer to do it quicker. But me being the fussy sausage that I am. Do you like to watch <laughs> that come through like that and actually start carding because I find it very, very therapeutic. A lot of people like to paint their flicked locks onto the drum. Some people like to just shove them through that way. Well, I suppose it depends on the staple length but this is just how I do it and I have been told or shown or watched something that shows that certain fibres from a certain staple length do work better going through the drum carder widthwise rather than lengthwise so yeah it's like this it's ever so slightly smaller in width so i'll show you what i mean so i'm going to put that one in the middle it is so so relaxing And then we'll put that one in. Now if I'd have done that with a longer staple, that I'd have all caught on here and pulled round. So I've been told. I haven't been brave enough to test it with this yet <laughs> because yeah I'm right for pulling off a nice fine fleece and breaking it so I do like to try and do things properly but if I can find a way that's easier I will also do that. Let's just 
get a couple on. So I'm going to speed it up from here so you can see what's going on in quick time. And so that's the end of the flicked locks that I've got. I do believe I can get more on here um, because there is plenty of room and plenty of room in the tines. So I'm going to leave it on here while I flick some more locks. So I'd like to say, what's that, hang on, let's just get you back up. I'd like to say thank you so much for joining me on this lock flicking and carding video if you are new to the channel don't forget hit the subscribe button for more fibery goodness to come your way also thank you to all my fantastic subscribers whether you're new or returning you are all wonderful <coughs> excuse me whether it's morning afternoon evening or night time like it is here in the UK I want you to do what you love doing whether it be knitting crochet weaving spinning or even just watching YouTube I want you to have a fantastic time doing it love and hugs to all of you stay safe love you all bye